Hey guys, it's George. Jamindus dropped like crazy the title track from his first solo album, Face. The pre-release was dramatic. It was dark. It left me speechless. So I'm so excited for this title track. Please do forgive the location change. Jamin does not deserve a chainsaw in the background of his title track. Mm -hmm. As usual, I'm going to react to the MV, then afterwards I'm going to unpack the fashion. And if you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left a little blurb in the description box. Let's get into like crazy. Fashion Chingu are back as a sponsor of today's video and don't go anywhere, don't skip. I've got a 10% off code for you guys. Stay tuned. Fashion Chingu is an affordable online store that recreates K-pop and K-drama fashion, meaning you guys can recreate your favorite idols looks on a budget. They offer a huge range of clothing collections ranging from BTS, Blackpink, Twice, New Jeans, Ive, Stacey, and more, many, many more. The best thing about Fashion Chingu is that they ship almost worldwide and they offer free shipping on orders over $60. I've got a perfect spring outfit for you. This is a great unisex look as well. So everyone pay attention. Fashion Chingu 17 collection is one of my favorites. And when I saw Wan Bu's white blazer, I knew I had to have it. I love the silhouette of this jacket. I love how light this jacket is because you're not going to get too hot. And I think styling it with a white tank top and a good pair of jeans is just classic. You could go for any cut of jean, any wash of jean, go for a jean that really suits your body type. And then I finished this look off with Young Won's chain and pearl necklace. I love the combination of the heavy chain with the pearls and it's just like the perfect length to really flatter this neckline. And then I finished the jeans off with a black belt because I'm adding a black bag. If you've watched some of my reviews, you know I'm always like, mm, like black and white, like when you've got like a staple white piece, it can read a bit heavy. But where this blazer has black buttons, black works perfectly with it. And then I finished this look off of a pair of white sneakers that have the black detail. So again, it's tying back into the blazer. And the finishing piece is Sonu's black envelope messenger bag. This bag is just the perfect size. You can fit all of your essentials in there and it just looks so chic worn across the body with this outfit. I'm gonna leave all of the pieces that I'm wearing in the description box, as well as Fashion Chingu's website and my code George10, which will get you 10% off at checkout. So, enjoy having a little shop, enjoy your purchases. Make sure you use that 10% discount code and DM me on Instagram and let me know what you've got. Thank you once again to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's video. Now let's hit play on Jimin's title track, Like Crazy. Maybe I think we can last forever. The whisper. <laughs> Such a different vibe from Set Me Free Part 2. This is a sexy vibe. Ooh. Such a different vibe. The double denim of all of the jaws. Get drunk and never comes. He looks so good with the mullet. <laughs> I feel like he's loving like a lift, a little crowd surf moment. <laughs> I just love this outfit and how there's still like a darkness. Ooh, have a taste. This is sexy. Like, Set Me Free Part 2 was hot, but like, this is I love how it's more of like a relaxed vibe as well. Do you know what I mean? It's more like, Casual. Ooh, who's she? The laser, yes. <laughs> the synth as well. 
I like how the bottom is kind of grotty. The look, yes, bitch. This is such a vibe. <laughs> The silver eyeliner, go on, go on. Wait a minute, can we, just, can we just go back to where is it? This visual, this visual. Who's gonna break you? No, oh, let it. <laughs> this looks so fine. <sighs> Poseidon? Love this look. The green gunge. No, don't wipe on me. <laughs> that was a sexy, sexy vibe. That was a sexy, sexy vibe. Like Crazy definitely has this sexier, more R&B kind of vibe to it, but with like the 80s synth. I love it. I think it's really interesting that the pre-release is like so dramatic, like all of the choreo, the visuals like hitting you in the face, Jimin's solo album is coming. And then the title track, it's more laid back. It has a sexiness. And I feel like we're getting to see like a different side to Jimin. The styling for like crazy as well. It just hits perfectly with the song because the styles that we're seeing are more laid back. The styles are very casual, but they're stylized. Double denim covered in the stones. The grungy Acton Studios t-shirt tucked into the leather trousers that have those portraits on them. Very casual pieces. Okay, maybe not like leather trousers are true casual, but you get what I'm saying. The styling keeps it in this casual realm, but the pieces themselves aren't your everyday casual pieces. Our first look, the double denim look. How can you not love this? The casualness of double denim, and then you have all of the stones embellished into this jacket, and the placement is just incredible. Across the shoulders, it's incredibly dense. And then you can see when it comes to the waistband of the jacket and the cuffs, again, the stones are incredibly heavy. And then down the sleeves, it's very soft and light. So you're still getting a very light glint of that shine, but it's not as compact or dense. And then on the jean, you have that side stripe of those stones coming down. But I think the placement's really cool because when you see it in this shot here, you can see that there's like this swirl of the stones in the side stripe. It's not just straight down, it's interesting. The placement is incredibly well thought out. And I love how they've styled it. The white mesh tank top underneath, yes, a white jersey tank top still would have done the job, but adding that texture of the mesh, it makes it more interesting. And then finishing it off with the black belt, the very simple buckle, and then the black high shine boots, it just ties back into the shine of the stones. This look is so perfect. Our second look, giving casual grunge, this is just hot. Like, classic pieces, but they're interesting. The slightly oversized white t-shirt, you can see that the sleeves are hitting him just above the elbow. We can clearly see that is Acne Studios with that red print. And then it's tucked into the black leather trousers that have got a quite a slim silhouette. You can see the portraits on the thighs just above the knee. And then it's been styled with that red studded belt. You're just getting a flash of the red on the belt that's poking out at the front, but it ties back into the red print on the top, which is a really great choice. And then I believe, the shoes are giving me like Rick Owens vibes, just from like the chunkiness, the sole shape, etc. It's just a sexy, grungy look. Like you could imagine someone wearing this in a club and then being finished off with the necklace that pulls your eye down, the earrings, the rings, perfect styling of this casual look. And his hair with this look, the mullet, is doing something to me. It's just, it's doing it. 
And then being finished with the silver eyeliner, the metallic in the makeup, tying into the metallic of the jewelry, the studs. Again, it's just perfect. Like, this is the kind of casual fashion that I love. Our third and final look, we're just getting a glimpse of it in the opening scene when he sat at the table, and then at the end when he comes to sit back down. And I just love the silhouette of this look, this piece of knitwear looks so luxe. The very relaxed crew neck neckline. The jumper then has that extreme drop shoulder. We can see the set and seam sitting halfway down his arm and then the sleeve is very wide. And then the actual body of the jumper itself is fairly cropped. It's sitting just above the waistband of the jean meeting it. You can see the waistband, the button, the fly. You can see the belt loops where that chain is coming from. I love the wash of these jeans. I like that there are a straight to wide cut because it's pushing it in that like Y2K, like skater boy kind of direction. But the knit is just the star of the show for me. The knit, graphic, black and white, the giant R, and then the silhouette. Like Crazy was such a vibe, the sexy like R&B vibe with the 80 synth in the back. Hot, obsessed. I'm gonna listen to Face whilst I'm editing. I'll let you know my favorite B-sides in the comments section. Please let me know your favorite B-sides in the comments. Thank you once again to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to use my 10% off code at checkout, George10. If you pick anything up, please DM me on Instagram. I wanna hear all about your purchases. Thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are honestly the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye-bye.